All right. Well, first of all, thank you all for coming down. Uh, my name is Steve Parks. I'm the lead aerodynamicist for the 2013 Fusion Program. This is where I work. This is my office, okay? Um, we do a lot of aerodynamics here, but we also do wind noise here. I don't know if you noticed that the sound is a little bit dead in here. That's because we do a lot of wind noise optimization of the vehicles. There's uh, uh, anechoic material behind these uh, panels back up in here. We have microphones. We have microphones. We have the heads that we put in the car over there. Again, I'm not a wind noise guy, so I can't really tell you about that, but I will get into the aerodynamics. Um, you're looking at the wind tunnel. Uh, the flow comes from the left and goes to the right, the collector. Um, it is a giant loop, and we're going to turn it on in a little bit, but first I want to tell you about the Fusion. Uh, basically, the car's on this big turntable. You'll see that turn. The car sits on these pads right here, and below the floor uh, is a giant balance, like a bathroom scale, that measures how hard the car is pushed back. That's the drag. We don't like that. That's bad for fuel economy, and we want to minimize that. So what we're going to do is we're going to optimize everything on this vehicle that we can to reduce that drag. Um, we've got a lot of features on this car. Uh, first of all, underneath the car, we've smoothed out the bottom of the car to get the air to go under there very, very nicely. That was a big help. Uh, we also have what are called active grill shutters, and you can't really see them. They're inside here in front of the radiator, but take a look when you buy your 2013 Fusion, and they'll be in it. But um, basically what they are is they're like window blinds, and they open and close. Close when we want good aero. We don't want the air going through there. Open when we need to cool the vehicle. So you're going down the highway, they're going to close. You can see the turntable turning. I always get a little when I turn. But, um, <laughs> we do a lot of work with the chin to make sure the air goes over. This is all styled here to make sure the air goes cleanly around the side of the vehicle. As the light shifts, you can see a little break in the surface here. It's very subtle, but that was highly important to us to get that and work with the styling team to work that in there because that controls the way that the air flows past this tire. The air goes smoothly around. We don't have a lot of turbulence. Turbulence is our enemy here, okay? You're going to get turbulence behind any vehicle. Our job is to minimize it to make it as small as possible. One of the areas we did a lot of work on that was the mirror. I'm going to show you with the smoke some of the turbulence behind the mirror that's on any vehicle, but ours is a very nice pattern, minimized, a lot of work went into that. We do work with the styling people from concept, theme studies, all the way up. We do a lot of work up to production. And we start out, we do a lot of work on the computer, computational fluid dynamics, it's called, or CFD, where we model these vehicles in the computer space. On this vehicle, we spent over 2 million CPU hours modeling this vehicle. That's one of you sitting at your one PC for 30 years to get this just tuned exactly right, okay? But it's important. There's so many details in this, in this vehicle that we had to optimize. Get the wipers down there. Optimize this angle right here. Make sure that's correct. I mentioned the mirrors. Um, down along here, along the rockers, we work heavily with the program team and the styling to make sure that's right to get the air past those rear wheels. But also, so when you get in the car, you don't bump your pants on the rocker and get them dirty during the winter, okay? A lot of trade-offs, a lot of teams passionate about their attributes. So, very important to get this angle, make sure the flow comes down, goes off the deck lid very cleanly. I'm going to show you some more turbulence in the back called the weight. And what we want to do is we want to minimize that. We want that air to come back together as cleanly as possible. We've done a lot of proportional work back in here to pull that air back and make that wake zone as small as possible. This deck lid, nice sharp edge. Under here, working with these surfaces, everything makes that turbulence as small as possible. So, what we're going to do, and again, if I could ask everybody, I think you should be okay back there, but the wind is basically going to blow at that yellow line, and my friend Steve over here is going to help me with this cart, so if you guys could all move over to about here or so, that'd be very helpful. Okay? We're going to fire up the tunnel. We should go up to... Um, there is a pair in there. Yep. Um, I'm just going to grab you one real quick. We're going to be running up to 25 miles an hour. Again, I mentioned our, our tunnel can go up to 150 miles an hour, okay. but we won't be going that fast today, obviously. <laughs> okay, usually when we test these cars, we test at 80 miles an hour. And when we get up to 25 miles an hour, I think you'll be impressed at how quiet it is. It's a lot louder for me when I stand in the flow, trust me. So, so that noise you're hearing, that's not our tunnel. 
That's the very, very light noise coming off the, uh, off the vehicle, okay? So there's me in the flow, obviously. You can see when I did that, it kind of pushed some flow out to you guys. So I'm going to turn on the smoke. And this, and you may have seen these in some commercials and such. This travels with the wind, okay? So this just shows us where the wind is going. So when the Fusion is driving down the road, that's how the wind goes over it. And you can see that that wind is just plastered right to the top of that vehicle, extremely smooth goes right off and right down to that deck lid. And that's exactly what we're looking for. The proportions of this vehicle were very nicely done. Again, around the mirror and around the side glass, very smooth. In particular, let me get down in here. You can see how, and I have a better view of it than you guys, unfortunately, but the flow at the back of the vehicle, it really bends around the back. And that's important to make sure that we reduce that turbulence zone at the back of the vehicle. We have little features that you may not know about on our vehicles, like these front tire spoilers. These are there for aerodynamics, and they, they, they move the flow around the wheels so that the flow is a lot more cleaner than if they weren't there. Okay. Now, I mentioned the turbulence behind the mirror. You can see that turbulence zone nicely right there. And what our job is, is to make sure that that flow is, that turbulence zone is as small as possible. So we want that, we want that turbulence nice and crisp to that edge, okay? When you're going home, stick your hand out the window. You can feel that behind your mirror. I also mentioned the turbulence in the back. And you can see, and I'm messing up the flow because I'm here, but you can see how the turbulence zone is pinned right to that deck lid edge. That's on purpose. That's important to us. This turbulence zone is very small, and that's how we reduce the drag on our products. So front to back, all the little details, that's what we're doing for our customer fuel economy. Okay? So, any time for a question or two? Or? Yeah, I think they requested you to show it over the front again. You want to see some more of the front? Yes.